to the Faithful She Speaks podcast, where we bring to life the powerful and inspiring testimonies of women who love Jesus and have a heart for Him. My name is Micah Klug, and for our very first episode, we are diving into the story of a legendary figure from the LDS Church, Lucy Mack Smith. Lucy Mack Smith was not just any ordinary woman. She was a devoted mother, a faithful disciple, and a woman who possessed immense courage and fortitude in the face of adversity. Her unwavering faith led her to play a crucial role in the early beginnings of the LDS Church, and it's no small wonder that she is revered as one of the most influential women in LDS history. But that's not all. Lucy is also credited with making history by being the first woman to ever speak at General Conference. Don't you just appreciate the gift she has given us to see the restoration of the gospel of Jesus Christ through a mother's eyes? One of the first recorded accounts we have after her son Joseph's first vision is her tender and motherly hand reaching out to her son, inquiring after his welfare. He said as he leaned up to the fireplace, mother inquired what the matter was. And Joseph replied, all is well. But it wasn't just her support and encouragement for her family, especially for her son Joseph, that set her apart. Lucy was a pioneer and a trailblazer for women in the early church. She traveled with her family across treacherous terrain, harsh conditions, all to establish and build up the kingdom of God. She also endured great sorrow and loss, including four deaths in her family within four years. Despite these tragedies, her faith never wavered. In fact, it only grew stronger as she relied on the Lord for comfort and strength during these difficult times. But the one thing that struck me the most as I studied her talk were the two themes she chose to share with the early saints. The first was her passion and her love for her children. She said she raised her children in the fear of God. When they were two or three years old, she told them she wanted them to love God with all their hearts. She shared the stories of Joseph in Egypt and other Bible stories. Do our children hear us say Jesus' name more than just rushing, in the name of Jesus we pray amen, over our leftover spaghetti before running out to soccer practice? Are we telling them his stories from the scriptures and sharing with them the blessings he has given our families and how much we love him? Would they know to turn to him and to hold on tight when things in life get really hard. Lucy knew, not only through her words, but her shining example with the heartbreaking suffering she had to endure throughout her life. Which brings us to the second theme she shared, that the whole purpose of what the saints went through, what she went through, was to come follow Christ through evil and good, no matter the cause. She lived it, she shared it, and she patiently endured the sufferings that was put into her hands. And even though she was turned out of house and home, she still gave her mother's heart and hands to anyone who needed them. She loved Jesus. There's no doubt in my mind, Lucy Mack Smith's unwavering faith and dedication to her family, to the Savior, and to the gospel of Christ serve as an example for all of us. Her love for her children was evident in every aspect of her life, from teaching them about God at a young age to enduring immense trials with them by her side. As parents, if we're not careful, we can get caught up in the everyday struggles and forget to instill a strong foundation of faith in our children. But her example reminds us of the importance of making Jesus part of our hearts in our homes as we teach our children to love God above all else. So my friend, as we close the very first episode of Faithful She Speaks, let us take a moment to reflect on Lucy Mack Smith's life and the lessons that she taught. Let us remember to love our children with all of our hearts and to teach them about the love and grace of Jesus Christ and to love him with all of their hearts. Let us also remember to follow Christ through the ups and downs of life, no matter the cause, just as Lucy did. He is very aware of you and I, our struggles, efforts, and those little things that keep us awake at night. And I promise there is purpose in the things he asks of you. My hope is you continue to follow him knowing full well he's worth the cost because you were worth the price he paid nearly 2000 years ago. 
Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you'll tune in for our next episode where we'll be celebrating another incredible woman of faith. Until then, keep shining your light and sharing your story. Jesus loves you.